good teams cross a line <clears throat> where they go from hoping to win to expect, expecting to win? Have you been able to look at your guys, kind of look in their eyes and see where they are with that confidence? Well, I mean, I thought I was thinking the same thing going into that game, you know, and it, a lot was going to be told, I thought, by our focus coming out. And there was no doubt in my mind that we were in that building and uh, I don't think expected to win um, is one of those things. I think if you ever get comfortable and you expect to win, then you're you're kind of setting yourself up for one of those life lessons. Uh, so we're always going to have a, a little bit of an edge to us to where we're the underdog. Um, but I think there's a little bit of internal swagger and confidence knowing that we've got enough talent to do it if we can put some of it together. Can you talk a little bit about Bashinsky's play Saturday? He was a pretty good force for you in the first half, and I think I don't think he played much, if at all, after he picked up his fourth foul in the second half, but he was much more, I guess, engaged and effective against BYU in the first half than he maybe had been the last couple of games. Yeah, you know, D Dallin, uh, he had a couple of great games, and, um, you know, I think what happens is, you know, you start talking a little bit with the media. You start, you know, all of a sudden you're second on the team in scoring. And there's just no secret at this level that you're going to have a little bit of a bullseye on your back in terms of keeping that kind of production going. And um, I thought the Texas swing, maybe he was putting a little too much heat on himself to, to make things happen. Uh, he saw a lot of double teams. And so we just – I met with him last week. He just – just relax and come out and do what you were doing before, but there's no expectations as far as putting up certain kind of numbers. You know, we love his energy, uh, but he missed a shot at SMU to start a game, missed a shot at Texas State to start a game, and I really thought that kind of carried over the rest of those games. And we have to get to that next point mentality, the play forward mentality. And hey, let's remember, you know, he went on a mission. He's a sophomore. Um, he's, he's doing a lot of positive things, and I'm excited to work with him today. I mean, when I watch him play even against BYU, there's a number of clips where he's just not down and engaged and in a stance, you know. It's standing up, and then all of a sudden here somebody's throwing a pass, and, and you can see the whole thing in super slow motion. It's like, you know, maybe catch it because you weren't really ready, and then when you catch it, you got to think about what do I do now, and if you, it's, you always talk about basketball defensively being in a stance in order to be able to react at the right time. And I think it gets forgotten on the offensive end where you really have to be down and engaged, hands ready, and then he's going to be able to clean some stuff up. But we've got to be able to get all of our bigs to play the game much lower uh, on the offensive end, even on a pick and pop. If you set a pick and pop to 15, 20 feet, we're missing a lot of our shots because we're not down in a stance sprinting to that spot before you catch the ball. And so uh, offensively, I'm kind of excited to work with our bigs. I think we can have a big time period here where we can shore some stuff up. And then I think the result is it's going to be easier for a lot of them at the end of the day. You got a lot of new guys and maybe you thought you knew what you had, but now you've had them for a lot of practices and nine games. So kind of a third of the way through the season, what do you think of your team now? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, with our team. We're really competitive in practice. We've got a couple guys at every position. You know, there's even some guys that aren't getting much of a chance. Some of our freshmen that haven't been finding minutes on the floor. Um, but I'm still really fond of them. You know, there's guys that didn't get to play against BYU that maybe maybe there might be a time uh, for them to start getting involved. We're maybe playing some guys too many minutes when I look at some of the some of the season totals to really expect our guys to play hard. We probably need to have add a couple more guys to the mix and go in some shorter periods of time because they're doing the job. They're just, uh, you know, not under the lights with the, with, in a game environment. It's, uh, it's been great, really. I mean, we've got some different strengths and weaknesses, some skills, I think some combinations of some guys. Uh, but it's a good point to, to get this thing started and start building it.